Okay, the day is upon us, the 340 bench attempt. Well, hopefully it'll depend on how the warm-ups feel. Very nice day outside, check it out. Got the little man's lawnmower working its way across, knocking down the grass. Gonna check the body weight first, see what we got. Should be pretty decent. I mean, been, been healthy, so. All right, good, it should help today. A little bit heavier than yesterday. All right, let me show you the workout. Day 60 on the leaning out journey. Got another week and then vacation and back to the bulk. 340 possibly, then 315. Would like to get three if things feel good, but we'll see. Incline bench, we're going to go 205. Keep that consistent, two sets, and then skull crushers for now. better but did it felt felt good definitely felt slower than 335 as it should but last week with 335 I just felt like there was a little bit more and I think we found that five pounds is <laughs> exactly how much more that felt great though um, we will not be maxing out on bench next week um, but yeah super super cool 65 pounds to go right for the next big step no actually 365 is, is the next one, but we'll wait. We'll build up a lot. I'd like to hit 315 for five, pause, five or six, and then I feel like 365 will be there. Uh, I'm going to give it a good rest, and then we'll see if we can get... I'm not sure how 315 is going to feel after having that slow of a rep, because every you know second that it takes to press the weight up is, is taking more energy away, so we'll just wait and see. But very happy with that. Um, yeah, feeling good. Feel, especially on a cut as the weight is dropping. I mean... Yesterday, I think I weighed in 205 something, so it's all good stuff. All right. <laughs> It's been a journey, slow and steady. sets after the 315 so I'm gonna get it like three minutes
offset here of the incline. Crushers, <sighs> Urban Journal's idea. Uh, the bench has been going up since I started doing these, so. And the body weight's been going down. So, I don't know. I think I also just started doing heavy single run bench press. I didn't do them for years, so. That probably helped. But there's definitely, I don't know, like that sticking point, right, where the tricep starts to do more work. I don't really have too much issue there anymore. Like I can push through, whereas before, like it's right there. Like here to here, lots of pack. Here to here, obviously still some pack, but triceps. And I used to, like that 185 I was talking about, down to here, up, right at the, you know, parallel to the ground point, basically, or the 90 degree elbow angle, I would just lose power. Um, and that has not happened lately. I feel like I'm able to like, recognize where the sticking point is and actually push through it. Whereas before I would just get stapled. So maybe it is the incline skull crushers. I don't know, might have to give them a try. I actually remember to do a warm up set this time too. Did not do my typical uh, right into the heavy weight. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and this will go heavy for me at least 45s. And then we'll probably do a drop set. That's a good day though. Like, Every PR you hit, you should celebrate. It's a five pound PR. If it's just the weight fell easier and you did the same thing, I mean, you know, celebrate them all and then look to what's next, you know? But definitely like acknowledge and be happy and excited about every bump up in weight and do not worry about anyone else because there's somebody that can overhead press the weight I just benched for like 10 reps. So it doesn't matter. You know what I mean? Everyone's on their own journey. Those people benching, you know, five, 600 pounds are, are looking at somebody else saying, oh, I wish I could do that, you know? So just worry about your PRs and, you know, beating the uh, old version of yourself, if you know what I mean. That's the end of the motiv motivational speak speech. <clears throat> All right, motivational speak. Because why do you get excited? I mean, you gotta get excited about it, because. Otherwise, we'll keep going, you know. You're like, oh, I can't do four or five. Yet. Four or five is a massive bench. I lost count per usual. Let's go drop set with. 22s. I've said this a couple times. Well, I think on Instagram too. Like 225 is a great bench press. Being able to bench your body weight is abnormal. Here in America, I mean, three quarters of the population is overweight um, and basically inactive. Like, I don't know exactly what the numbers are for inactivity. I know it's three quarters overweight. Um, so a 225 bench press. Alexander Bromley has a pretty good video. I'm sorry, a very good video. Sorry, Bromley. Um, I was just saying pretty good because I couldn't remember if he talks about like the percentage of people that can bench 225. He's more talking about strength standards and progressing forward. It's a great video. There's another video. I can't remember who did it. Going over how many people can actually deadlift certain numbers. The numbers are crazy. I mean, the amount of people that can deadlift 225 and 315, it's not what you think it would be. I mean, if you're into fitness and you follow people on Instagram, then obviously you're gonna get showing a bunch of people that are bigger, taller, stronger, leaner than you, which is supposed to be motivating, I guess. Um, and it definitely can be, because I follow a lot of people that are bigger, stronger. Um, you know, more athletic, whatever, like can move more weights. And that definitely motivates me, but I keep in the back of my head, this isn't the, um, I don't know what the standard deviation 
You know what I mean? Like if you're watching only fitness things, you're now going to be another standard deviation away from the norm. For, forgive me if my terminology is wrong. Um, but basically, if your bubble consists only of fitness things and fitness people, your perception of what's actually strong is going to change. And you should be proud of numbers like, you know, a 185 batch, a 225 batch, like benching your body weight, deadlifting, you know, one and a half times your body weight. Those are all excellent numbers, um, you know, and then just, okay, how do I add five, 10 pounds to that? That's literally all I've been doing. That's why I've documented this process so people can see the day-to-day the -day of it, you know? Um, I do the same thing and I try and get a little better at it. Then I eat some food, sleep, I come back the next week, do the same thing and try and get a little better at it. I love it, it's great, you know, you get a, a solid feeling of success when you break into new territory. Um, and even when you don't, it's still checking the box, I did something productive, I made some forward progress. You know, there aren't a lot of things in life that you have total control, control over. Um, but lifting is one of those things that, you know, if your food and your sleep is on point, you're able to work out and have access to a gym, um, you've got most of the control over how you're gonna progress. So, yeah. All right, that's it. <laughs> Enough talking for today. Really appreciate the support. The, uh, the bench video for a Monday, having to get 100 likes for me to do 340. So maybe the bench would have moved faster if I got those last nine likes and only got 91, but still. The video did excellent. Um, really appreciate the support. Appreciate you watching to this point if you did. Um, if you made it this far in the video, drop a comment. How many months do you think it's gonna take me to get to 365? I think once I get back on the ball, get the body weight up to 215, and then 220, eventually 225. Um, I think it'll happen rather quick because being 205, 207, hitting 340, I think that uh, that extra 10, 15 pounds should help the bench. Um, but we'll see. Drop a comment, like I said, if you made it this far, how many months you think it's gonna take you to get 365, and hope you're having an epic day, hope you worked out yesterday, or are working out right now, or maybe you're gonna work out tomorrow. Either way, appreciate the support as always. If you don't mind subscribing, if you're not already subscribed, that way you don't miss the video coming up tomorrow. Tomorrow we got some pull-ups, and rows, and more rows, and then curls. Nothing crazy. All right, till tomorrow, peace.